Those are the sounds of my house. Hey, do we want to give this to a friend or do we want to keep it? Give it to a friend. Hello friends, I am so glad to be here with you today. So I had big plans on getting the boys room done, but it is an absolute disaster again. And I have deep cleaned it to the max. So I told them they have to clean their room spotless in order for me to go in there and paint and do the accent wall and do all the things. So I am gonna just kind of wait for that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it for them, not this time. We also are gonna paint the other boys' room and the hallway upstairs. I also need to do the trim um, on the rail up there and then the trim in the dining room. It's like this orangey color. So I need to put some primer down there and then paint and I really do need to fix this in here. And this is the motivation I need to do it because this is kind of the punch list stuff that I haven't even gotten to. Today, we are gonna be getting a lot of things done in the house. It's gonna be a little bit of everything. So we're gonna be cleaning, finishing home projects, decluttering Emma's room a bit, deep cleaning her room, um, mopping the floors, you know, everything that we have to do today. So if you're looking for some company, you've come to the right spot. If you love videos like this, where we just spend life together and we do lots of cleaning, decluttering, organizing, room makeovers, and everything in between, you've come to the right spot. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, like this video. And we are gonna start off with loading the dishwasher up because when you start in one of these like, gateway chores it will help move to the next so i've already made my bed i do that the minute i put my feet on the ground i make my bed because if i don't it won't get done so bed's made we're going to do the kitchen real quick it's not too bad but we're going to clean it up and then we're just going to kind of keep going through the house we're going to be hanging out So whether you are a mama or a homemaker, or maybe you're both, I know for me, and I can only assume for you all, the kitchen is like a revolving door. They say it is the heart of the home. And this is where everybody just congregates. And for us, it's like a revolving door, which side note, do you guys remember when kitchens used to be behind a door? I remember at my aunt's house, she had one and it had one of those um, swinging doors. Oh, I would love one of those. Anyway, I digress. So it gets messy in here a lot. So I always have to start my day by this and the bed. There, there are no other options. I was telling Chris, we probably need to put this recycling in the garage because we are going out here so many times a day and he was actually pulling up as I was filming. And now I'm going to put Emma's little chocolate chips away because if I have them out in an open bag, she's gonna climb the cabinets or the countertops to get to them. So, so far for breakfast this morning, I had a breakfast sandwich, I ate two of them. Here's the thing, I would have to shell out a bunch of money to an engineer to have that done for me to be able to... Those are the sounds of my house and I love it. Genuinely, I love that man. Anywho, so I eat two breakfast sandwiches. I get them from Costco. It's like, a, I'll show it to you. It's um, egg, cheese, turkey sausage, and another egg on top. I take, while it's frozen, I take the cheese off of it because I just don't need it. Um, and it's really good. I add a little Cholula hot sauce. Okay. So good. Okay. Um, also, I, my sister left her, sister in left her Stanley cup and I've been using it. And I'm reminded on why I love Stanley cups. They leak. Not cool. <laughs> um, I got a bit of stuff in my hair. My hair is actually growing back. I've been using Rogaine very intermittently, maybe three times a week. 
I gotta put you here. And it is growing back. I'm very thankful for that. Because it was hurting my feelings. I looked up healthy dry shampoos <laughs> without benzene, and this came up. However, my lungs are sensitive. So, I've been so sad about the cat that I felt myself slipping down a hole. So, whenever I feel that, I am very diligent on getting up, getting dressed, getting house clean, doing my makeup, doing all the things. Because if you struggle with depression, there's one thing you know. You are better off trying to catch it before it goes too far than pull yourself out. So. There you go. My mom made this um, liver detox. I have to get the exact ingredients but she made me two half gallon containers of it. Really good. Uh, it definitely has a bite to it. It's got fresh ginger in it. I'm not a big fan of ginger, mainly because I had to live off of it with my pregnancies. Um, but with the last four babies, my morning sickness was horrible. So ginger's not my favorite, but it's pretty darn good. So this is the last bit. You have about a cup of it a day. And I also take these liver detox supplements along with my thyroid support vitamin d k3 yeah, vitamin d3 k2 and then um dhea and things like that i can tell what was that what was that there's something in it there's something in it it's probably just Anyway, I can tell with the thyroid, or excuse me, with my testosterone, I, I can tell it's, going, it's down quite a bit. Um, there was a little bit of a blockage I felt like, and I don't know if it was the thyroid or the vitamin D or the DHEA, I really don't know, but I've always said I have amazing ideas, my follow through really stinks. And I noticed with the past three months of doing the treatment, or it's been two months now, that that blockage was gone. Liam's playing with Emma. Um, the blockage is gone. So I would have an idea and I was able to follow through and it was effortless. Instead of, I usually have to do a pretty decent amount of um, pushing myself to get things done. That's just how I've always been. Um, I'm thankful for the days where it's not a struggle. But I, I noticed there was like a follow through and I was just like, had an idea and I got it done and it felt so, so good. I can tell that's a little lacking right now. However, with the stuff with the cat and, you know, I'm sure that has definitely something to do with it. Um, so today is the day where I'm pushing myself. Couldn't quite do it yesterday, but I don't allow myself too many days of, I don't allow myself too many, like, days of not pushing myself only because i know my personality i know how i am and it can a couple of days can turn into a week into a month and i don't want to go down that route so i have to push myself this is vitamin b6 b6 my friend told me she implemented that in her diet and so many changed so many things for the positive change so um yeah so i also that's another reason why I wanted to get up and do this today because I was waiting for the kids to do what they needed to do and I can't wait. I have to I have to move. I have to I have a lot of goals for myself and I really, 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 really want this channel to continue to grow and I want to continue to be a source of positivity and authenticity, mainly authenticity, transparency and support for you all and I have to keep myself going. You guys help me keep me going. So that's another reason why I decided, I always get so like, what am I gonna do? I don't wanna do a full a full blown deep cleaning video and then I don't have anything to declutter and organize today. So being able to have the freedom to do a video like this is really nice because it takes the pressure off of me. As, you know, So I'm not like, what am I gonna declutter and organize today? I don't have anything else. You know what I mean? So it helps and I really just want to have I feel like with these types of videos, it's easier to connect 
with each other. That makes sense. Let's keep going. I gotta do the living room. I, our living room is completely uh, different now. And we, I think I had told you, but um, I had purchased a couch off the of Facebook Marketplace. Beautiful West Elm, beautiful couch. Beautiful. It was a $3,000 couch. And I got it for $500. I loved it, but the cushions kept, they had feathers in them. It kept falling out everywhere. And I couldn't keep the cushions stuffed properly. It was, it was just getting on my nerves. I had it for two weeks. The fabric was contact grade, I think, or I think it's contact grade or something. And it wasn't as smooth as I liked. I'm like, you know what? If I don't love it, I'm gonna get rid of it. I was able to post it. I posted it for 850 just to see, cause I knew I got a good deal on it. The guy told me he just wanted to get rid of it. <clears throat> so I posted it for 850. Um, and then it, knowing that I was gonna get something else, I found this couch. This one was 250. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna keep this one. I'm gonna sell the other one for 850. Well, I ended up getting 750 for it, which technically pays for the one I sold and this one. But this one here, it's it's a little low. I do love it though. I love how like cush, like oh, it's so comfortable and it's definitely the style I'm going for. So I like the whole Nancy Myers. Um, Father of the Bride type of style, Family Stone, which is my all-time favorite movie type of style. And so, this is really beautiful. So this is the sectional, and I just took out the corner pieces, the center pieces, and I was able to make a long couch, which I didn't realize you could even do that. So that's there, and I love it. The chairs here are, we had people come over or from my bedroom, but they are so nasty. So I am gonna try to clean those, but those are eventually gonna be sold as well. And then the big Pottery Barn chair that I got that I actually um, bought from Facebook Marketplace for 50 bucks is in my bedroom right now, which is so comfortable and I love being able to sit in it. So I gotta figure something out here. I'm thinking I would really love to have some velvet chairs or some leather ones, like brown leather chairs. I think that'd be really pretty. But I'm gonna clean this living room up. I'm gonna do a little bit of this laundry. And yeah. Usually Chris is working and I don't have, uh, my boys are older. Um, so I don't always have much help with her. And so it's nice to have somebody here for now to help me out a little bit. Cause some days, my days feel like they're running into each other. And that's hard because silly. <laughs> He's catching me! He is catching you, silly girl. So when I was contemplating having another child, um, one of the things that I looked forward to the most was the kids all playing together. So I, if, you, if you're new here, I have six children total. My two oldest children are from my first mar marriage. I got married very young, and Isabella and Drew are 22 and 19. And so that, that age gap wasn't planned by any means. And so it worked out, it was really good. And after Drew, you know, before I met Chris, I didn't plan on having any more children. Um, so then when I did meet him, and obviously we have our kiddos, um, again, we didn't really plan on the age gap that we got, but having three under four, because they were, it was literally four, two and zero. It was really tough. It was really quite a challenge. And in my mind, I thought I would never, ever want to do that again because it was hard. And if you know, you know. Um, but now that Emma is here and she doesn't have anyone even close to her age, Noah was eight years old, well, excuse me, seven years old when she was born. Um, it is a challenge. It is a challenge because it's all on me. So when I hear my kiddos playing together, it is literally one of my favorite things of all time. <laughs> we have to. Oh my goodness. Cooking with gas, boy. Cooking with gas. That's my Liam. He is, he's so innovative. It just blows my mind. Um, so I, and later on in the video, I will share him with you you'll see how just he towers over me now which is unbelievable he's he is 14 and he's six foot tall 
it, it's mind blowing. But uh, man, he's a beautiful boy. But I just, I'm, of course, I'm biased. I think all of my children are amazing and so cute and all the things. But like I was saying, it was really tough. Um, it, it has proven to be a little bit of a challenge. That's how I'm viewing things. It's just a challenge at times for her to be the youngest because the olders are doing their own thing. And I never really even thought about that, but it's something that has been, ta we've been, it's been an adjustment for sure because I, I still need to work. I still need to get things done. So they will come and kind of take shifts with her, literal shifts, um, and give her some time because you guys know in the digital world, all they want to do is play video games and play on the phone and we are pretty strict about that we really try to have a lot of safeguards and limits there's liam right there on uh, their electronic devices so we have to literally set times uh for them to come down and just be a part of the family because if we don't they'll just sit in their rooms and we're not going to have that one of the reasons one of the things that we loved about this house was that it was smaller and so we had hoped that everybody would congregate together and not in the media room upstairs so we're still working on that for sure you know teenagers will be teenagers so it is gloomy outside and i am living for it we went to go pick up the shorts for Chris, but he's like, do you realize it's gonna be a 40 minute trip there? And then back, he's like, we're gonna be out for two hours. And I said, you know, I don't think I wanna do that anymore. Actually, I said, yeah, I can do it. And he said, no, I don't wanna do that. And I said, okay, you're right. So it's gloomy. I have such an inkling to turn the fireplace on and bake a pumpkin bread right now because this is everything I live for. It's dark in the house. It's amazing. It's getting clean. So we went to Starbucks and we're having them run off their energy now. And I'm going to clean this room and declutter those toys. Hi. I think that we should put lamps on because it's so nice and gloomy outside. So I'm kind of, no, I am, not kind of. I am very into the making my house a home and to feel homey, I could care less if it's aesthetically pleasing or all the things. Of course, I want it to be pretty because I like pretty things and I love to decorate. But I'm just at the place in my life where it's like having things, I don't know super messy doesn't work for me but having a home that looks lived in and looks curated I definitely like curated that's who I am but having a home that looks like hey we have kids here I'm, I'm really embracing that don't get me wrong I've always embraced it but I've always tried to I don't know I've always wanted to look Pinterest perfect for me not for anybody else but for me but the older I get, the less I care about Pinterest Perfect. Even when I was in high school, and we moved to Florida, our home looked like a model home. And I loved it like that, because it was just me and my mom. It was really just me a lot, because she was working. So, it was primarily me. But I would literally set the table. Um, if you've ever been in model homes, you know what I'm talking about. But like, the table was set, um, sheets and the linens were pulled back on the beds. Like, this is, I'm talking 16, 17, 18 years old. I always got the house back to model home, whatever. I would spend my Saturdays as a teenager cleaning the entire house decluttering i didn't know it was called decluttering then but decluttering organizing cleaning up refrigerators uh, restocking i've always done this it's super uh expected i guess that i do this kind of like now but i've always wanted hey baby i've always wanted my house to look in that type of model look i've always liked that 
But since I've had kids, I've had to let no, a lot of that go. Sleep. Okay, understandably. But sometimes the fight to keep it like that is really hard. But I've totally given that up. It's like, this is what my house looks like and I'm okay with it. That was my Noah. He was, um, he is the 10 year old now, but he was clapping his hands and dancing. You will always find him dancing in front of the camera. And I think it is so cute because I don't even know he's doing it until I'm editing these videos. But this particular moment, he was clapping and he was doing it so loud. And I said, Noah, please my ears and he went louder and louder and I don't know why they love to startle me they love to just be loud um, I know I'm gonna miss it one day I am fully aware of that especially with having a 22 year old now I know how quick it goes you cannot even blink you can you have to soak in every moment you don't get your time back but that's so incredibly hard when you're in the thick of it and I can also vouch for that um, this is someone said this and I have said this to so many people who are um, you know confiding in me and talking to me about their struggles I say they're good thing I have good news and I have bad news the good news is it's never it's not gonna stay this way the bad news is it's not gonna stay this way and when you think of it like that it's like whoa wow it's not going to stay like this and you hopefully will soak it in and then when it's hard and you're like I don't think I can keep going on I'm about to lose it you can say it's not going to stay like this and hopefully that will give you a little bit of a light at the end of the tunnel we got just had a dirt bike for his birthday he's been asking for one for literally years years and years so we got him one beginning of the year and we've had issues with it non-stop this is what this is noah's shirt if you knew noah you would know how perfect it was for him but um yeah man it keeps breaking non-stop so we're gonna see if maybe we can i don't know i don't know i bought them a doom buggy too off the facebook marketplace for christmas it's been broken non-stop too it's like I don't know if it's us or if it's that type of equipment, like those types of things. Doom buggies, dirt bikes, four wheelers. Do they break a lot? I don't know. Because I've had two now, and so far it's not been a good experience. So I think we're just going to turn around and sell them. Because that stinks because they want those types of things, but. I can't keep it, I can't keep it running. I don't know, I can't keep it running. Look at this, this was Liam. He was mm, maybe a week old. Illegal. A week old, child, not illegal. Let me try to get you zoomed in. Look at that, look at that baby. He was a week old. A week old. There's Drew. Now look at him. Now, now look how, how big my child is. <laughs> He's like, he towers over me. It's crazy. He's my tallest child yet. Mm -hmm. He's my tallest child. I am showing you what the cabinets look like before I do all the caulking because they need it so bad. We finished this kitchen back in November and it still has a punch list. It's just out of sight, out of mind. So Chris is so busy and anything that I can take off of his plate to make his day, his life easier, I 100% will. Um, so I'm going to caulk all of this. It makes a huge impact. So if you really want to make a an impact in your home without spending a lot of money go and caulk those baseboards um, if you have molding at the top any of the cabinets they may have gaps in it anywhere that you can see i mean make sure you use the right type of caulk on it one that has a stretch to it um, but it makes a huge impact and you'll see it also paint if you just put a nice coat of uh, semi-gloss or high gloss paint on your moldings and your baseboards whether you know it doesn't matter it makes such a statement when you have that nice 
shiny white baseboard. It and oh, and the door trims and the doors. I'm telling you, when it comes to the door trims and the doors, a Magic Eraser just does amazing things okay amazing things but I will say if you are gonna paint your doors like I did mine make sure you put a primer on there first because they are literally peeling off now it's literally peeling off So our contractor friend that helped us with these cabinets, um, one of the things that I like to do, and I've always wanted to do this with my kitchen is, so we have 42 inch cabinets and sometimes you don't have enough space, enough, enough uh, height in the, in the room to be able to do this. But um, if you have 42 inch cabinets and you can put a 12 inch like I did at the top to get it to go to the ceiling, it makes a really huge impact and it's not incredibly expensive it truly isn't if you have 36 inch cabinets same thing maybe you can get a, a 12 inch up there and if you can't one thing that I have seen people do is literally take just wood and put it on top of the cabinet obviously horizontal to where it meets up close to the ceiling and then put crown molding up there and just having that empty space that gap from the top of your cabinet to the ceiling makes a huge beautiful impact it truly 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 does um, go on Pinterest and just look up um, you know cabinets to the ceiling and you'll see the difference it's incredible it's truly truly incredible I have asked I have had quite a few questions about these cabinets I found them on Facebook marketplace from a place called first choice cabinets in Tampa Florida um, it was in a warehouse so I don't, I, that, that's all I know. If you're local, I can give you their number if you want. But this is what it looks like caught before painting. Keeping it. Keeping it or donating. Do we keep, oh, keeping that? Yep, 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 yep. Hey, do we want to give this to a friend who needs it, or do we want to keep it? Give it to a friend. <gasps> give it to a friend. Okay. I'm going to give it to Audrey. Audrey lost my toy. You want, to, you want to keep it or give it to a friend? Keep it. Okay, you got it. This is too small for you. Mommy's going to give this to this because we don't need this. You want to keep this from Isabella? Yes, that's special. Do we want to keep this? Yes, okay. No, I want to keep it. So I will continue to go through all of her toys and give her the choice. I give her the freedom to make the decision that she needs to make. Um, one thing I can say are children really need to have that sense of independence. I can't think of the word, I'm trying, autonomy, I think it is. Um, so especially when they're young like this, they need to know that they, what they, they need to know that they have a choice. And so this is really important. I try to implement these types of core, um, I don't know, core value. I don't want to say values, but you know, these types of thing, this type of, uh, discipline when it comes to our stuff because I want them to know if they want to keep it they can keep it mom's not going to get rid of it and but I also want them to feel comfortable enough that it's okay to let things go too it's definitely a learning process okay so the Declutter and keep, or donate and keep, did not work out as well as I had hoped, but that's okay, because it builds trust, so that's good. But, um, I just am going to empty out one of these bins, and then put the rest of her toys in there. So, this will be perfect for her magnet tiles.
full transparency, when she was out of the room, I most certainly put some things in the trash bag that were was broken and that I know she doesn't play with. There are some things like little, you know, Happy Meal toys that she painted all over or things that I know that it's okay to get rid of. Trash or, you, you, you know what I mean. A parent obviously has to be a parent. I want to give her the choice. I want her to trust me. She can absolutely trust me. But there are also like, you know, she'll want to keep an outfit that's way too small for her, you know, and I'm like, okay, I got to balances she hasn't even touched it it's here we've done this before and it's been another six months and she doesn't even touch it but you you know what I mean so what I did is I put everything in a bag that she agreed upon and then a couple of things that I thought needed to go I took everything and put it in the garage and then that evening she actually on her own while I was working out she went out there and she started she pulled a couple things out and brought them back into the house I let those things stay but guess what? Some of the other stuff that she saw, she left it in the bag. She didn't need it. So the stuff that came back, I, I made a mental note. Okay, she's going to play with it. But um, yeah, it's 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 a balancing act for sure. Sometimes as parents, we have to get rid of things when they're not around because it's just taking up space. You know, you know your child the best. But I just try to implement, um, I try to establish some trust with them because obviously I, I love to get rid of stuff. Y'all already know. It is all clean. I put her makeup in here. And that sounds so crazy to say that for a three-year-old. But you know what I mean. Ooh, so clean. It's so clean. I cleaned behind the bed. Um, I think I am going to wipe down the, uh, what is that called? The trim real quick. Just because a lot of dust collects. But it's so clean. And then she's a lot like I am. So I assume... Out of sight, out of mind, so I put all her favorite toys up here and then made more room here, cleaned out here. Somebody gave that to us. Isn't that amazing? I'm so thankful because that thing is incredible. It looks pretty good. So I decided to wipe down the uh, molding in here. It always collects a ton of dust. It's one of those things that is out of sight, out of mind. But uh, like the little uh, indentions on the door, the the um, closet doors and the molding, it gets so, so dusty. These little rags here, this is actually Scrub Daddy. And I got it from TJ Maxx. It came in a pack of two. And I'm going to tell you right now, the pack of two that I got is so much better than the pack of, I think, 20 little microfiber rags that I have. I'm, these are so good. And next level genuinely next level so if you see them at uh, tj maxx or marshall's or home goods grab some i think i'm going to go get myself another set also i noticed that the blinds were so dirty but i was like you know what i'm not going to do it i am really getting tired i knew i needed to paint at the top needed to paint the top of the crown molding so i was like i'm not doing it and then i went inside and cleaned off the rag and then i was like oh i'm doing it i'm doing it i have to do it i cannot i can't i can never do something halfway if i'm going to do it i'm going to go all in and that is the same with cleaning so then i also created this little space here um okay lynn don't cry don't cry don't cry um if i can't have her in my arms i will have her in a frame as soon as i walk into my house um it's very important to me so that little space makes me smile. I have some crown molding and baseboard paint. Actually, this is just trim paint I got from Benjamin Moore. There was no name to it. You saw the thing. And this is what I'm going to use to paint the crown molding. I'll show you that it came out a different color and I was disappointed, but that is okay because 
you can always go back and fix it. done can you see how it's slightly different it's a shade i want to say cooler of a white let me let me turn the light on can you see how it's i mean it's definitely shiny but um do you see how it's like a cool white so i'm actually going to go to um i don't know benjamin Moore, benjamin moore sharon williams i'm not sure yet and i'm going to get a couple of samples and put them on the cabinets and then compare because that is striking to me it's really hard the camera's not wanting to pull, pull it up but i don't want the base or excuse me i don't want the crown molding to look like a cool white and then the cabinets be a warm white if that makes any sort of sense so i went ahead and did a first coat i'm not thrilled with it i also didn't love the brush i was using so it looks better for sure but no 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 no. this is going to be our home and i want it to be right so i'll have to just figure it out yeah so i'll just have to figure it out i don't know um, i'm gonna go get it like i said a couple samples i'll put them up there i have a lot more we're gonna need to do um chris went to go get the wood for the boys room and we're still not going to do it until it's spotless, but we're going to go ahead and get the wood to do the accent wall. I'm not really an accent wall type of girl, but I am a wainscoting. I am a board and batten. I am a bead girl, bead board type of girl. So we're going to do board and batten up there. So it's going to look really, really pretty. And the color we got is granite peak. Really pretty. I wanted to get outer space, but we decided to go one shade lighter. So um, I have to now clean my house a little bit. Um, actually, I'm not going to. I'm going to wait till everyone goes to bed and have some time for me. So I'm going to go to the gym. He's at Lowe's. When he gets back, we're going to switch off. He's going to put him in the bath. I'm going to go to, Lo or to the gym, and I have a child coming down here because I can... They come down like hurricanes, tornadoes, especially that one. You come down like a hurricane. <laughs> okay, you can't ask me questions just yet. I want guacamole. You want guacamole? Okay. You don't need to pay me back. I'll give you some guacamole. Can we order it? Can we order from Chipotle right now so it comes today? Because I'm. Can I get it, it from Walmart, not Chipotle? Because Chipotle. Will it be here? By, will it'll it be here within an hour. Guacamole, it is. I, if I gotta get a healthy fat in that boy, I'm gonna do it. Dino nuggets and guacamole. <laughs> We're winning today. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I really like this style video because it takes the pressure off of me and it makes me feel more excited to film because I don't always have like deep clutter, deep cleaning or decluttering organizing type of video. So when I can just get up on here and just do this, oh, it feels so good to do that. And I feel like you kind of get more of my personality a little bit. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. So anyway, I love y'all. Thank y'all. Today's been a good day. I only cried once. It was a little, I got a little misty a little bit over the kitty. Um, taking it day by day, but I love y'all. And thank y'all so much for all your sweet messages. In my last video, I was nervous to share, but then I felt inclined to because I wanted to maybe prevent it happening to anyone else. Um, and I was just, you know, you just never know what you're going to get with social media. And you guys showed up and loved on me and my family in a way that I, I needed. And I am so thankful for you. I'm thankful for this community because that is a big deal. So I love y'all so much. I hope you consider hitting that subscribe button. 
if you want to hang out more every single week and it's about to get real loud here like this video and don't forget you can make this world a better place it is up to you and you are worth it and you are worthy and you are loved i'll see y'all in the next one bye guys